out and ay ay ya. Can't nobody hold me down. Can't stop, won't stop. The man never stopped. You know, Puff Daddy Combs is somebody who you should know is going through a ringer, but he designed his own downfall. But there are agendas against him. It's one big mess. But one thing a lot of people are going back to is his history. Now, a lot of people are combing through old interviews and so on and so forth. But um, they're going through interviews on camera. They need to comb through a lot of those Vibe magazine, Source magazine interviews. Many other magazines he did with them people. But also his lyrics. Now, I know what you're saying. He didn't write lyrics. Yeah, but he said them. See, Puff Daddy was a man of power in a certain position. He might have, uh, you know, hired you to write for him, but he wasn't just going to say anything. And Puffy was known as someone who was very meticulous about lyrics written for him. Ain't that... I can't cuss yet. It's the first minute. But um, it's amazing. He didn't write lyrics. He couldn't write them. But he would be very hard on you if you came up with lyrics that he didn't like. That weren't to his standard. Yeah, Puffy had a lyrical standard. But beyond just verses that 50 Cent or Jada Kiss or Biggie wrote for him, obviously he became first known for ad-libs infamously Suge Knight, always in the video, on the records. Puffy was known for his ad-libs. The whole take that, take that, yeah. But there are many things he said on records that now when you go back to them, they're very questionable. I mentioned a song a few uh, a, a while back called Muscle Game. Gene Dill mentioned this song where Puffy is talking crazy. I might have to revisit that. I don't know if I made that video yet, but he was talking crazy. It might have been the craziest talking he ever did on a song. And I don't mean bars. I mean things he was saying in the background, if you listen. But another song he talked crazy on was on Biggie Small's debut album, Ready to Die, 1994. Now, this was the album that really set off Bad Boy Records. The record that set them off, the single was Craig Mack, Flavor in Your Ear. But the album that really put them in the stratosphere was Biggie's first album. And on the album Ready to D-I-E, there's a title track with the same title. And on this song, Puffy is all throughout it. On the intro, I'm gonna just quote him and I gotta clean this up, but that makes it comical. Hit the like button, did I say that already? Share this video, subscribe to this channel. On the intro, Puff Daddy, as he was known then, he said, yeah, yeah, you ready, mf -er? We about to delete your backside. We gonna delete your backside. I'm ready. Now, he didn't say delete. He said the K word. We're going to ill your backside. We will ill. Put a K in front of ill. That's what he keeps saying. He literally is saying this on the song. In the chorus. The chorus of the song is die mother effort. <laughs> they keep repeating that. I can't keep saying that. This video got to be green. They're chanting. I mean, maybe this was the first drill song. This whole song is Puffy threatening to delete people. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to expire. I'm ready. So, so, delete. <laughs> so, D-I-E, MFR. -er. Delete you, MFRs. Delete, MFRs. We about to delete you, MFR. -er. We gonna make you suffer. He's chanting this in the song. You know, um... I made a point in my in my last few couple uploads when it came to Lil Durk getting arrested. Oh, another monkey in a cage. You know, I, I you know, I touched on <laughs> pause. I touched on Lil Durk. Yeah. Now some big dude named Bubba about to touch on him for 25 years. And I touched on Chief Keith <laughs> like Jimmy Iovine in 2012. And I mentioned when you say things, it don't matter if it's in a conversation or in a song. Words have meaning. They have spells. You shouldn't hear. You should know this by now. Puffy is literally in the song mustering up that of people's demise. He's chanting about deleting people. And even he's saying he's ready to go. Never mind Biggie's lyrics in between the verses. They ready to take themselves out and you. On the chorus towards the end of the song, it says, I'm ready, I'm ready. It was a, it was a sample, I believe, saying, I'm ready, I'm ready. Puffy says, time to go. 
We going to put you out your misery, mother effer. Niggas definitely know what time it is. I'm ready. Him and Biggie Smalls are going back and forth chanting about this. They ready to expire and take you with them. It even says, I'm ready. Suicidal, I'm ready. So D-I-E, mother effer. Delete. I'm going to just say delete. Delete, mother effers. Delete. Yes, I'm ready. So delete, MF, delete. MF delete. They kept saying this. So when people are saying Puffy is Lucifer, well, uh, people who are actually uh, believers or people who are actually not in the darkness, they don't talk like this, whether it's a record or in conversation. Music is not an excuse. Oh, it's just a song. No, it's not just a song. Uh, you're an artist. A song is part of you. Concepts of a song they come from a part of your soul, your mind. This is something you're mustering up from your being. Songs are not just songs. And if they are, then that means they serve no purpose. So why do you want to listen to mindless music that serves no purpose? Now, on the outro of this song is where he goes off. He goes off the deep end. The outro by Puff Daddy says, now I lay me down to sleep. Now he's doing the Lord's Prayer. Is this the Lord's Prayer? Oh, Lord. It's the puffy prayer. He says, now I lay me down to sleep. Yeah. Pray the Lord my soul to... Oh, your soul. Maybe he's praying to Clive Davis. He says, pray the Lord my soul to keep. But before I should delete, before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Because I'm ready to delete. I'm ready. I'm ready. Y'all mother effers come with me if you want to. And as he's sitting in that cell right now, I think he's chanting the same thing in his mind because apparently Hollywood is shook. T.D. Jakes is shaking. Uh, Creflo Dollar is about to lose his dollars. Rappers, singers, producers, politicians. It looks like he, he said this in a song. All y'all MFers come with me if you want to. Did he say that before the party? Maybe he didn't force nobody to party. He said, come with me if you want to. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Biggie Smalls, the biggest man, I'm ready. Rocking on and on in 93. Easy Moby, oh, Easy Moby. Was 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 Easy Moby at the parties too? Or maybe he stopped going because um, Easy Moby, he's somebody who got away from Puffy early. Easy Mo, Easy Moby, I, be, I believe he got away from Puffy in 97. I think he maybe did the, did he do the Honey remix? I think he might have had something to do with the Honey remix with Mariah Carey and the Locks. But Easy Mo B, he got away from Puffy, and then Puffy blackballed him and tried to steal all his credit. Has, has anyone seen Easy Mo B? Does, what does he have to say about Puffy in, in this current situation? Third Eye and the rest of the bad boy fam. I don't want to see no crying at my funeral. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my Lord. What? <laughs> The last line is, I don't want to see no crying at my... Trust me, I, I don't think tears will be shed except by King Combs and Albie Shore's son. Does Albie Shore's son, does he have the unibrow? Puffy's going down and not in the way he likes. With that said, XDN wins. I'm up out of here. I might have to edit this video. I don't know. That is it.